This is how you can make a mod mail system for your discord.js version 14 bot. So let's go ahead and get started. So to start off, we are going to go ahead and make a schema. So this schema is going to store the user IDs so that we can access them in a different feature. So we can go to schemas and we can go ahead and create mod.js. I've already created it. Uh, so just go ahead and make your schema look like this. If you need help actually setting up MongoDB, go ahead and watch the video in the description below. Once you've created a schema that looks like this, we can go over to our index.js file. Wherever we have blank space, we can actually go ahead and define that schema. So we can do const mod schema equals require, and then we can get our dot slash schemas slash mod just like that. You're going to make sure you have the message content both enabled here and in the developer portal, and you're going to need to make sure you have these partials also set up the message, channel, and reaction partials. After setting up the intents and partials, we can go ahead and start by doing client on events.message create. We can do comma async message arrow function and open this up. We can say if message.author.bot, then we can just return. Then we can go ahead and get our guild ID. So we can do const guild ID equals. We can go ahead and paste in our guild ID. So just go ahead and right click and copy the guild ID. Then you can just go ahead and paste it in here. Now we're going to go ahead and actually get the guild. So we can do const guild equals client.guilds.cache.get. And we'll just do guild ID. Then we can go ahead and define in the channel type, which is going to be the DM. So we can do if message.channel dot type equals equals channel type dot dm we can go ahead and open this up we can say const member equals message dot author then we can actually go ahead and open up our schema our mod schema right here so you can do mod schema dot find one in here we're going to get our guild and that is going to be guild dot id then we can get our user and that is going to be member we can do comma async error and data and we can go ahead and open this up in here we're going to get our error and we're going to throw that error now we can go ahead and say if no data we can go ahead and open this up and we can say mod schema dot create in here we can do guild and that is going to be guild.id and we can do user and that is going to be member.id then we can come down here and say if data we can open this up and in here we can go ahead and just copy the mod schema.create that we got from there and just go ahead and paste it in here so now we can go ahead and actually check if the message that is trying to be sent to the channel has any attachments so we can say if message.attachments.size is greater than zero we can open this up we can say message.react and in here, I'm just going to copy like an X emoji. This will indicate that the message has not been sent. And then we can just say return member.send. And we'll say I cannot send this message. Now we can come down here and say const post channel or possibly channel equals guild dot channels dot cache dot find c arrow function c dot name equals equals equals. And then we can go ahead and open up message dot author dot id. Now we can say if post channel. We can go ahead and open this up. We can say const embed equals new embed builder. We can add a color by doing set color and that will be blue. We can then set an author. So set author and this is going to be name. And in here we can do message.author.username. And then we can do icon URL. In here we can do message.author.display avatar URL just like that. We can then go ahead and add a description. So set description. And in here we're going to go ahead and put message.content. Then we can say post channel send and we can do embeds and our embed now we're going to go ahead and react so message react in here i'm just going to put like an envelope emoji just to indicate that the message was sent and then we can just go ahead and return so what we just did here is if this user already has a mod mail channel active all we have to do is just send the message that they sent within their dms now we're going to go ahead and say that if there is no channel we can go ahead and create one and send the message so we're not going to make an if statement. We're just going to do it under here. We're going to say const category equals guild.channels.cache.get. And we're going to go ahead and paste in the category. So to get this category, just go ahead and create a category. It doesn't matter what name it's going to be, but this is going to be where all the mod mail messages are sent. And I'm just going to go ahead and copy the ID. We can paste that ID in here. Then we can do const channel equals await guild.channels. Dot create in here we can do name and that is going to be message to author to id then we can do type and that is going to be a channel type dot guild text then we can do parent and that is going to be category and lastly we can do topic for the topic we can say a mail sent by message to author dot tag just like that so we can come down here and say member dot send and we can just say your mon mail conversation has been started in and then we can do guild.name now we can go ahead and catch an error so we'll just do catch error open this up and just return now we can do const embed equals new embed builder we can do set title 
For our title, we're going to do new mod mail, just like that. Now we can actually go ahead and copy all of this information from above so we can get our color, author, and description. Now we can go ahead and set a timestamp. So we can do set timestamp and we can set a footer. In here, we can say text and we will say use the button below to close this mail, just like that. All right, so now we're actually going to go ahead and create that button. So we can do const button equals new action row builder. We can do dot add components. We can open this up, new button builder. We can do dot set custom ID and I'm just going to do button because there is only going to be one button. We can do dot set style, and in here we will do button style dot danger. Then we can say set label, and this is just going to be close. Then we can do dot set emoji, and in here I'm just going to put a lock and key emoji because I think that fits with what we're trying to do here. So we can do const m equals await channel dot send. In here we can do embeds, and we will do embed, and we can do components, and that will be our button. So we can then create our collector. So we can do const collector equals m dot create message component collector just like that we can then say collector dot on and we can say collect and then we can do comma async i arrow function and open this up we can do if i dot custom id equals equals and we'll do button in here we're going to say await channel dot delete just like that then we can say member dot send and we can say your mod mail conversation in in here we can do guild dot name and then we can say has been closed by a moderator just like that so now we're gonna actually go ahead and pin the embed so that in the mod mail channel after a bunch of messages the moderator can easily access the closing message so you can do m.pin just like this and we can do message.react and here we're gonna get that same envelope emoji as we did above so with that we have actually successfully done everything that we need to do for the dm portion and by that i mean every message sent to the bots dm will now be sent to the channel and all of that is set up so now we can actually go ahead and get all of the messages sent in the channel and send them to the member DM. So we're going to go ahead and create a new client on on event. This is not necessary, but I'm going to do it anyways. So we can do client on. We'll do events dot message create. We can do comma async message arrow function and open this up. We're going to do if message dot channel dot type equals 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 channel type dot guild text. We can go ahead and open this up. We're going to go ahead and copy the guild ID and the guild from above. We can go ahead and paste that in here. Now we're going to go ahead and get our mod schema. So we can do mod schema dot find one. We will do our guild that is going to be guild dot ID and we can do user and that will be message dot channel dot name just like that. We can do comma async error and data and we can go ahead and open this up in here we're going to check to see if the data is null so we're going to do if data equals equals null we can just return then we're going to say const call channel equals guild dot channels dot cache dot find and we'll do c arrow function c dot name equals 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 we can do data dot user now we're going to say if message dot channel equals 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 cold channel we can open this up we can say if message dot author dot bot we can just return then we can say const member id equals data dot user we can say const member equals await client dot users dot fetch and we'll do member id now we're going to actually go ahead and copy this attachments check that we did above and we can go ahead and paste that right under the member variable now we can go ahead and do message dot react in here i'm going to paste that same envelope as we did above now we're going to go ahead and get the embed so we can do const embed equals new embed builder you can do dot set color and this is going to be blue we can do dot set author and in here we can do name and that is going to be message dot author dot username then we can do icon url and that is going to be a message dot author dot display avatar url then we can do set description and that is just going to be message dot content just like that now we can actually go ahead and send this so we can do member dot send then we can say embeds and embed just like that with that we are actually done with all of the mod mail system so we can go ahead and restart the bot and test this out all right so over in the discord server i'm just going to go ahead and start off on this account we can go ahead and dm the bot saying hello or something like that as you can see it's going to go ahead and react with that mail emoji and it's going to say your mod mail conversation has been started in ascii bot testing if we go over to the mod mail section right here we're going to see a new channel come up right here and that is going to be the member's id if we open this up we're going to see that it says new mod mail with the message and it's going to go ahead and give me the close button as well as pinning this message so we can easily access it later so now on this account we can go ahead and see what happens if we just go ahead and send a message or something like that as you can see it's going to go ahead and send it in this channel now i'm going to say a message like hello or something like that as you can see it's going to react and if we go over onto the alt it's going to go ahead and say hello 
So we can continue this conversation back and forth pretty much, just like a mod mail conversation would. Now you can also start multiple mod mail conversations at once because we are using a database. So if I were to DM the bot, as you can see here, it's gonna go ahead and say my mod mail conversation has been started. And if we go over to the channel again, as you can see, it's gonna go ahead and say my mod mail has been started and I can continue the conversation with me and the other account, both the same as you can see here. So if I wanted to close this mod mail, let's just say there were a ton of messages in this channel, I can just go ahead and click the pin messages, jump to that message, and then just go ahead and click close. As you can see, the channel is gonna go away, but if we open up the DMs on the alt account, it's gonna say your mod mail conversation in ASCII bot testing has been closed by a moderator. Now I can do the same thing for my mod mail conversation. If I go ahead and click that, it's gonna send me that same exact message. So that is how you can make a mod mail system for your discord.js version 14 bot. If you need any help or anything like that, go ahead and join the server in the description below and we'll be able to help you out. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video.